Well, have you ever received a quilt and asked yourself, I wonder how much this is worth? Well, Sue Harmon can help. With over 30 years of experience with quilts, she knows her history and is the go-to person for quilt appraisals. She even has a quilt from the 1800s. Our Heidi Clotter has her story. But I, I love all kinds of quilts. Quilting has a rich tradition in Sue Harmon's family history. She had a grandmother and a great-grandmother that did quilting. At one point, she didn't know much about quilting until she inherited quilts from them. I started lecturing with the quilts I had received, and then I had friends that started going to auctions and saying, you need this quilt, can I bid on it for you? Certified since 1997 in the American Quilter Society, Harmon is one of two quilt appraisers in the state of Minnesota. Harmon does appraisals at quilt shows and in her studio. Is it for insurance replacement value? Is it for market value? Or are they donating it to uh, a museum? As part of the appraisal process, Sue looks for predominant colors, fabrics, and construction technique. This pineapple log cabin quilt has black and jewel tone colors, velvet, satin, and silk, and was assembled by hand. I look at the condition of the quilt before I can come up with any type of value. There are several reasons why a person should get a new or old quilt appraised. Some insurance companies will not honor what your quilt is worth. They may ask for receipts for the fabrics. Quilts get lost in shipping. If you're shipping to uh, a show or to a grandchild in California, uh, they uh, get stolen from shows. It is just real important to have a value on that quilt. Antique quilts vary, and Harmon generally doesn't appraise a quilt valued at less than $300. She's appraised quilts in excess of $12,000. Something that is only three colors and minimally quilted is not going to be as valuable as something that has intricate piecing and lots and lots of fabrics. Harmon carries her family tradition and has taught four of her grandchildren how to quilt. She says she has plenty of projects to keep her busy for the next 20 years. In Park Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.